so excited that you're here with me today because today we are going to be painting. So today we're going to be painting a spaceship, a rocket ship. Um, so I am super excited to do that. We're going to need some materials to start. So here we go. Here are the materials we need. So you will need some brushes. You need a big brush and some smaller brushes. You need an art palette. If you don't have a palette, you can just use, um, you can either use a plastic plate or you can even use aluminum foil and just put it on a surface and you can put your paint on top of there. You'll need white, red, purple, blue, green, and yellow paint. And you will need a canvas. I got this one 11 by 14 um, it was for uh, from Dollar Tree if you got one that's a little smaller that's okay and you also need an apron can you see my apron apron I still cannot say that word right apron <laughs> I always say apron it's not a prawn it's apron <laughs> people keep telling me that I'm saying it wrong so I have to learn how to say it apron apron <laughs> so I hope you are ready to start painting I'm gonna put my camera down so that you can see um, what I'm doing and we can start painting together um, I got this idea to do the spaceship from um, a website that um, some people that they're called creative world and they do paintings for kids so I'm gonna put that link in the description so that you can um, see how they did it and you can kind of compare how we did it um, and we can compare it to what they did on their site so who's ready yes I am super ready let let's begin by opening our canvas we're gonna open our canvas and if you are, depending on where you're painting, uh, and you might already have this, make sure that you have, first of all, you have a cup with water. Um, you have some paper towel because we're gonna need sometimes to um, wet our brush and sometimes we'll need our paper towel to dry it. And also make sure that uh, you are painting on top of something. We don't wanna ruin your parents tables so if you just want to grab a towel and put it underneath um, or whatever other rag or material whatever um, just make sure that you don't paint your parents table because we don't want them to be upset at us so here we go I'm gonna turn it over so that you can see what I'm doing and we can start and we can get this show on the road here we go okay so here we go I have my napkins I have my water now and so I am ready to start put my paint over here because I need to put it in my palette so I'm gonna take my red What is happening? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. No wonder it wasn't coming out. Do you see how silly I am? There we go. Oh, Jamara. Oh, Jamara. Okay, so now that I have my colors, I actually had the purple as an extra before. We don't really need the purple. But. Okay, so now that we have our colors here, I'm gonna take an extra one because these brought six. So I'm gonna take the extra one and have it next to it because there are some colors that we're gonna need to mix. So just have this one close to you so that you can use it later on. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna use this big brush that's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this pack and I'm gonna grab the big brush, okay? the big brush. Okay, so are you guys ready? Here we go. We're gonna start painting this corner right here blue. So here we go. With the big brush, we're 
we're just gonna start painting. Oh, I'm making a mess already. It's all part of the process, it's okay. Blue. Now we're going to take our white this corner over here you can see it I'm making a mess is that you 
get a darker blue at the top and then you get the lighter blue at the bottom. You can either do it by how I did it before that I mixed the blue and the um, white or you can do this, what I did afterwards that I mix those two colors and here we go. Remember this is space so this is what it looks like that. So now we're going to take our second package and we are going to, oops, we are going to take the biggest brush here in this little pack, which is this one right here. And I'm going to put some white, let's see if it works, and then I'm just going to try to make um, a splash. want a little bit of the white paint so that it looks like distant um, stars. So I was able to do a little bit of it, but it, there's not a lot of them. Maybe you have better luck with this. I'm not that good at this. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, so um, I'm not going to worry about those big ones. It's okay because it still looks like it's distant stars, distant shooting star right there. <laughs> okay, so now I'm actually going to grab this same brush and I'm going to, with the tip of the brush, I'm just going to make little points. like if they were stars. So it's actually easier to, with this, where the big brush was, you see how tiny um, this brush is? It's gonna be easier to do the little circles. Because my brush didn't do a lot of the dots that I wanted it to do, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more so that we can so this can look like all the galaxies okay so now in some of these circles that I draw I'm gonna try try to do my best to draw little stars so let's see how this goes So now we're gonna take the blue with the same big uh, brush that we had before. We're gonna take some blue and some green. Mix it together. Let's take some more green with some white. Because we're trying to make teal. color is good. I wanted it to be a little bit more bright, but I think this will do. So now what we're going to do with this teal color is we are going to use, I'm going to put it 
on this corner right here. Okay, so do you see the mess that I'm making? Lord Jesus. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and now that it's dried a little bit, I made some more. And there is our earth. So it's supposed to be a little bit more teal, but that's okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna grab the white. And what we are going to do is we are going to use one of our uh, one of our bottles here, and we are actually going to put it uh, in a corner here. I would say probably around here, probably around here. And if you have a pencil, you can draw around uh, because you wanna get a perfect circle. So I'm just gonna use a white crayon. So uh, here we go. We're just gonna trace around this circle. There's my circle. Do you see it? You can barely see it, but now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take again this brush that we had used before for the white, and we are going to paint our sun. So now what we're gonna do, now that we have our circle, is we're going to, um, throughout the line of the sun, we're just gonna push the paint a little bit out to make an effect of like, it was a little bit of rays of suns coming out. inside of that line that we did before. Okay, here's our sun. 
Okay, so now we're gonna use the rest um, of the brushes here. The bigger one of these two, this one right here. Um, so now we're gonna go into making our actual rocket. Um, so, I'm garbage. Here we go. We're gonna start by Actually, you know what? I don't like I don't like this brush. Let's just use another brush. Sorry guys, I just don't like it. I like this yellow one that we were using. We were using that square. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wet it in my cup. And I'm gonna dry it to take off the yellow. Because we don't want no yellow in our uh, in our rocket. So Okay, clean. Now let's try let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> so there we go. I like this better. let it dry for a bit and then um, put some more that's fine that is totally fine so okay so now we're going to grab another um, so this one that I didn't like before we can just use that one now because we're gonna need to use the color red so let's just use this one for red. Oh, it was still wet. Dry, 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 dry. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and going to go ahead and paint it all. Try to see how red does it look. Can you see that well? Sorry guys, I should have thought of the black. I didn't think of the black. Um, if you have another color, you can go ahead. If you only have these colors here, 
you can either make it a really light yellow so you can mix yellow with white and make a really really light yellow um, you can make it pink white and red and you can make pink so the what I'm gonna do on the side of these is the little um, how do you call that the wings of the rocket so you can either uh, make it pink you can make it a light yellow um, you can even make it a light green but since we have green here for the earth that's why I didn't want to use it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this purple Uh, purple and white. Put a lot of purple, so. Okay, here we go, light purple. So I am going to go ahead and one again the square one I find myself really liking this one to do lines because it's square it's just easier to do lines with this one sorry guys it's just when you need to do a line it's better you see how much better that is <laughs> it kind of looks the same, kind of really doesn't, but I'm doing my best, guys. I'm doing my best. and let's let it dry and we'll go back to it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a line with the same color. So now we are going to grab more of this purple. Okay, so I was just looking at 
the instructions and I just realized that these actually go in red. Mr. Mara. No, but in the video, they actually painted them gray and then they did the red. So let's go ahead with the red. Let's do this. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put more red on here because it's already dry and it's looking kind of... Okay. So let's wait until this dries and we're going to put a little bit more red on there. Um, but now we need this little tiny uh, one. It still had white in it. So I'm cleaning it in my water and we're going to use it, make sure it's dry, and we're going to use it for red. We're going to draw some circles, okay? So we're going to grab our red and draw some circles. Circles a little bit bigger than what I usually make them. Okay, so here are my circles. So now I'm gonna grab my red again and I'm just gonna start making. So now I'm going to grab my white. I'm going to make some white, 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 white. So there are my flames. So now, okay, so now I clean my little brush again. And if I had black, then I would do this next step in black, but because I don't, and I did this in purple, I'm gonna do it with the dark, um, the, the dark purple. I'm gonna make a line. line. I'm going to do another one here. Oh no, I have water here. Okay, this is what I'm coming from. I'm coming from here. Make sure that your uh, brushes are completely dry. If not, I'm gonna make a circle right here. I'm nervous about the circle, guys. Okay. Um, you know what? Actually, before the circle, before I do the circle, um, I'm gonna clean off my favorite little brush here because 
I want to paint my the white. I want to do this white is so messed up. Um, I want to do more white here because it looks like it needs. Don't you agree? It needs to look whiter. So. circle is good. we can do the white again so now we're gonna actually move on I'm gonna use that one I'm gonna use my favorite one okay and we're going to make sure that it's clean it doesn't have any red in it we are going to use our green um, for the earth this part is already dry so we are going to um, use the green. Now, I'm looking at it and I'm already thinking that my sun should be a little bigger and probably my earth should be a little bigger. So you know what I'm gonna do, right? Because I'm stubborn. Um, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna grab some more and I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know what part of the world this is, but. I'm making it happen. Okay, so I'm gonna put some more green on there. dry for a little bit there um, and I'm going to put some more yellow on here and grab another brow, a brush, or just a brush, another brush. And now we're actually gonna um, clean this because we're gonna put some white on here. Like, you know how when you look, you can see the greenery, but you can also see some clouds. So we're gonna do those clouds right now. So we're gonna do some white. We're just gonna um, draw a little bit of just so that it looks like there's clouds. So, what do you guys think? Do you think we're done? I think that we need one more thing. I think we need shooting stars. What do you guys think? Some shooting stars. Shooting stars, I'm gonna take my smallest, tiniest brush, um, and let's see if we can do some shooting stars. at this, but I'm just gonna grab this little circle that's there. Okay, so what do you think? Are we done? Let me just stop messing with this stuff. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you think we're done? <laughs> I think this looks so incredibly cute. I am so excited um, for this. I think it's super cute. What do you guys think? I absolutely loved doing this. Um, if you want, you can put your name um, in the corner. <laughs> I did my best. As I was grabbing my phone to put it up here um, to talk to you guys, <laughs> I put my finger in the red. It never fails. It never fails. I'm trying to get all this red out of my finger now. Um, <laughs> Jim. 
So tell me guys, did you enjoy today's activity? Look at my baby. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I absolutely love my rocket ship. I am super excited that we did this together today. Um, I was a little scared in the beginning because uh, my drawing is not the best, but uh, we made it happen. And I cannot wait for my Jamara down there. I cannot wait to see what you guys did and how it looks. Um, I am in love with mine. And so please, please, please send me a picture of your drawing so that I can see what it looks like and I can see your rocket ship. If you wanna get creative and do some more stuff and be a second window on your rocket, that's completely fine. You can do that. Um, if you wanna wait until it dries to maybe make your sun a little bit more yellow, your rocket a little bit more white, whatever it is that you like to do, you can do. Um, that's fine, just wait for it to dry and then you can try it. Um, again, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget, Sprinkle of Joy, new videos every Monday, every Saturday. Mondays we teach about the Word of God and Saturdays we do fun stuff like this drawing. So stay tuned for uh, uh, tomorrow, Sunday, we will be announcing on our Sprinkle of Joy page what the activities for next week are. So make sure that you um, that you tell your parents to be on the lookout on, face on our Facebook page for the announcement of what we're gonna be doing next week. Again, thank you so much for week after week watching our videos. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, um, hit the bell uh, button so that you can get notifications every single time that Twinkle of Joy posts a video. Love you, kisses, like my hands. <laughs> We will see you Monday for our Fruit of the Spirit series. Bye.